Yeah, you gotta have these armories, man. Awakening or well, expert. I have 12. Pasia, Mange, Mange, Lebe, Yodu, Padajunia. I is Hapro Tinde. He said he he said he would never expect uh, accept me in the party if I don't read the uh, legendary engraving for class. So as you can see here, I have a 1540 DPS artist, right? I'm going to swap her into support, and the support build I'm thinking of was going class expert awakening match extreme and heavy armor. Uh, you can go vital point, but vital point it it kind of sucks with ar artists, I think. Cooldown seems to be the best case for this particular class, I think. So the match extreme accessory seems to be a little cheaper too. Obviously, this is a 3-3-3-3-3, which is an overboard for most supports. I think the good solid 3-3-3 or 4-3s would be yeah, the class engraving, expert, and then awakening seems good. Class engraving, awakening, heavy armor seems to be like a, a good choice for the first 3-3-3. But if you have a 4, it would be classic. It would be exactly like a bard. So I only have an option of fifth engraving, which is magic stream or vital point. There's drops of ether. And for me, I think it would be magic stream. I want to try it out. Dog, it's 100, 122k, bro. 126k? That's so much money. What the fuck? The class engraving. Fifteen gold. Wow, it got so cheap. It used to be like. It used to be a thousand gold. What the fuck? <laughs> what is happening here? Wait, what is the cheapest combination out of this? <laughs> like how? Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Look how cheap this is. Someone uploaded a wrong accessory. They had to. Why is this so cheap? Am I being fooled here? Guess I have to buy some stones. All right, one, two, three. So I was listing some stuff and it looked like, you know, some of the accessories are a little bit cheaper on the magic stream side. So I'm going to carve awakening heavy armor stone. So I bought three of them. So we're going to carve it. And then obviously awakening is the more expensive engraving. So the 75%, 65% is going to be around this side. All right, boys. Right? Unless I'm like super unlucky, right? Starting with that 75% fail though. I hate when this happens. Oh my god, dude. This is supposed to be an educational video. I can't do anything with this. But it's fine. You're st there's still two off. And then it's 55. Easy. 45 down. Nope. 35 down. Nope. 25 down. Nope. 35 down. Yes. Nope. 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 Now, I used a lot of uh, minuses. So I'm going to put it on the top side. Yep. Downside. Top side again. Yep, downside, top side again. Nope, so 55 at the top, maybe, but I'm gonna put it on the heavy armor first. Good. 45, I could put it at the down, but I don't need to, so I'm gonna try it on the heavy armor again. Nope, 55 at the upside. Nope, 65 up. Bad. 75. Two, twice, and then heavy armor here. Nope, bad. 55, 5, and a, so I can go for a 5, 7. Five six, bad. So it is a failed stone. That's fine. Okay, triple time, four time, 
The fail. Now this is a good start. This is a good start. Bottom. 35. Top side again. 7. I already got the 7. So 45 at the bottom is better, but I think it's going to succeed. Yep. Yeah. Bottom side. 4. Uh, so 7. So I'd rather get a 7-7. Seven, seven. So I'm going to try it at the top side. It failed. Top side if it, again, if it fails, it's good. But I succeeded in 3 times. 8-5. Eh, that's decent too. It's fine. Not bad. So I can probably use that. 45 down. Oh, it's telling me that it could succeed though. I just clicked it. It didn't work. There you go. It was The game was telling me. The game was telling me. 9-5. Nice. Easy. That's how you carve the stone. Well, 9-5 wrong way. True, but it's okay. It's okay. Alright, so I have the stones, right? 9-5. Uh, Let's see. I have the 9-5 stone, heavy armor, and awakening. And it's negative 3 in attack speed. 3 is pretty dangerous, so I'm kind of limited. So if I buy, if I buy a heavy armor six, because I I can buy an ancient accessory. I can finish it right away. Let's see if there's heavy armor expert, so I can get rid of both both stuff. Hold up. This is how I usually do things. Uh, is there's a heavy armor? Heavy armor six. Oh, these are a little expensive, man. It's on the expensive side. So heavy armor, buying a. He Buying six heavy armor doesn't seem that good. What about heavy armor? Uh, this one. What about heavy armor like this? Take care of this. Holy shit! 400k. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, heavy armor six, and there's really there there really is no benefit of me buying a a six six three. There really isn't. Well, I could buy a six three like that. With the ancient accessory, and what I could do is, so what happens is if I buy a six three ancient accessory like this, like this way, decently green, green accessory, three thousand, three thousand for sixty, three thousand for sixty quality though. Plus movement speed minus three, attack my attack minus one for three thousand. Oh, someone bought this already. Nice. Uh, there's this. That's fine. Let's say if I buy this, uh, then I can take care of the ring and I can take care of an expensive engraving. Because Expert and Awakening are the most expensive engravings. So you want to take care of those first, right? So that I have more leeway of figuring things out. For example, I need a class engraving too. And this class engraving ring gives me three class and five of this other stat. It only costs 500 gold. That's super cheap, right? So I'm thinking of using, I'm thinking of buying this minus two attack. And then if I buy this, it'll be minus one attack, so that'd be three. So what else? What else do I have left? Because, well, considering I'm gonna buy legendary engraving, class engraving here, so I'm gonna leave that opened. I need five here and three here, five three here, five three here. Like, yo, I don't need to buy a legendary engraving. That's nice. But I need to buy two. I need to buy two class engraving like this. What if I? What if I buy the one with six? Actually, I don't think no one's gonna buy it. Let me check. Let me check six on class engraving. Six. This might be a huge changer if it's in mark. Uh, if it's in price, this is why the a it's better than the API stuff sometimes. This manual looking. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, got happy for a second there, boys. Okay, so if you think about it, three five, and then maybe if I could get a three four. But oh my god, this is so hard to get the uh, the class engraving with the. This is gotta be so expensive. Yeah, this is way too expensive. But since I don't need to buy a legendary engraving, what is good is like I can save a lot money, a lot of money for this. Like I don't need to buy like 120 20k worth of stuff. Dude, only if my stone was some, only if my stone was something else. Uh, you can get the ex you can get the spreadsheet by uh, typing um, uh, notes.
I mean, I have two options. I can buy two of these straight up. Like that. Straight up. 3 5, match extreme, 3 5, like that. Ring, match extreme, like this. And then I can go for. Oh, now this is a problem, too. Hmm. Reading a legendary class engraving for artists is going to be around 126k. And myself, without, without reading the legendary engraving, if I can make this build within like 40k, I already saved three times the money, which is great, which is actually really good. 5k? 5k for blue? 300 gold? Wait, did I just finish building it? Awakening 3. Defense. Movement speed 1. Well, I need to double check because I think I finished it. Uh, so we have the class engraving plus magic stream. On the ring, uh, on the earring. Okay, and what's the swiftness for this? Two eighty four. And the the penalty is two. And then we have the ring, six three, six heavy armor, and awakening. I mean, I mean expert three, with minus one attack, and this has hundred eighty three swiftness. And now this also has the ring, the other ring, the class engraving plus three and match extreme three. And attack minus two, which is 190. And then my earring is five on awakening and match extreme three. And this is what? This is 296. And then I have minus one defense. And then the necklace is 477 to 478. So 53 with what? This movement speed minus one. So swiftness is 477 and 478. Well, 15, so about 1600. 1600 easy. Uh, so that's good. I think this is totally fine as a support. Because that will be 3-5. So let's count it again. I have Awakening 5. 5-5. 3-3, 5-5, 3-3. Five, five, three, three, five, five, three, three. So Class Engraving Level 3. Expert 3. Uh, heavy Armor 3. So this build makes it 5-3-3-3-3-3. Uh, three, 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 three. With how much do I spend? About... About 20? About 30k? 30k max? I'm buying this. Do you know why I'm buying this? Because I've just... So this engraving here, I need 18 of these, right? These are about 7k uh, each. So if I read this engraving, it's 7,000 times 18. I paid... I saved 100k gold by calculating it separately. This is why you don't read legendary engraving sometimes. Alright, so let me equip it. And then this would be doop. oops. Uh, hold up. There you go. See, three, 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 three. I'm done. Wow, that was fast. That was fast. I saved the 100k. That was sick. <laughs> I have a support artist now. Now we gotta do tripods. Um, so it seems like the main shield skill is this. So I need to level that up with this, and then I don't need that. Seems like I don't need any tripod here. And I can have one tripod here. I don't need any tripod here. This I don't. I need a tripod here. Okay, so this one, no tripod here. I don't need this. So six tripods. So, I can just buy six tripods. That's it. That's all I need. That's sick. 
Because everything else just impacts damage. You don't really need damage and support. Yeah, I don't need... I don't. <laughs> if it's six tripods, you know what that means? If, you, if it's just six tripods, you just search it up and then buy each gear and then uh, transfer it over to library. And then you're done. What do you mean? Four. So I did pants, top, shoulder. I did shoulder, right? And what? Uh, I need a weapon and a hat. So the hat's here. Hmm. Wait a minute. Why is there? Why is there seven? I thought I counted. I thought I counted it as five. Guess I have to use a calculator. For seven tripods. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be any any more expensive though. <laughs> but it kinda sucks I have to re-click it. <laughs> I don't know the names on the top of my head, so it's pretty hard. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Copy this. Go to the main thing. It's gonna take me 413. Nice. Time to try the <laughs> time to try the uh support artist out. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, I didn't change my gems. <laughs> it's all damage gems. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Hey, wait a minute. Why does this guy have damage gems? <laughs> He's a support. He's a troll. What's the question? How important are gems on support? It's just important as damage ones and damage dealers? Support gems are very, very important because you need the shorter cooldowns. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Hoi, hoi, hoi. I have no idea how to play support artist. I'm just spamming skills right now. I brought the wrong relic set. I'm so embarrassed, dude. I was like, why am I not supporting? <laughs> the, the party mate even called me out. He goes like, why do you have that set? I'll go, wait, what are you talking about? Oh my God. I am so sad. <laughs>